Hi, I'm Scott Holmes, and welcome to World Feud. Today, our contestants will be discussing economic transition and development. Now, let's meet our contestants. Contestant number one is Jessica Montanero. Hi, Mom. Contestant number two is Anasia Bruton. Hi. Question one, what are seven ways of measuring development? <laughs> um, per capita GDP, literacy rate, life expectancy, um, unemployment rate? Actually, the other four answers are energy consumption, labor force, infant mortality rate, and consumer goods. Question two, what results from population growth? High burden on resources and unemployment rates. The other two are actually low job availability and high death rate. Question three, how do foreign countries receive aid? Red Cross, World Bank, IMF, and INDP. UNDP. <laughs> Question four. How do countries transform? Free market economy, economic resources. Actually, the answer is cultural revolutions, economic zones, industry. Bam. Come on over, Anasia. <laughs> Congratulations on winning World Feud. Your grand prize is an economics book. The World Bank uses per capita gross national income to categorize nations as high income, middle income, and low income. Only about 10% of Earth's land is arable or suitable for producing crops. A developing country may turn to foreign investment to finance its economic development. When the government gives or sells businesses to individuals, it is known as privatization. In the late 1980s, Mikhail Gorbachev introduced a policy called Glasnost. This encouraged Soviet citizens to say what they wished without fear of government persecution. In 1949, the supporters of communism, led by Mao Zedong, defeated the anti-communist nationalists. 